In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add someone as a contributor to your Wix website. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to Wix.com, you're gonna log in into your accounts. So once you're logged in into your Wix account, you're gonna go over to my site. Then you need to select the website to which you want to add someone. For me, it will be Lucasen Tutorials. You're gonna click on select and edit site, and you'll then be sent over to the sites dashboard. Once you're there, Simply go over to settings, now look for roles and permissions, for me it's in the left corner, and click on it. You'll then be sent over to the roles and permission page, and here you can invite people to work on this site and assign them roles and set their permissions. So right here you'll see my account, Lucas and Tutorials, and my email. And what you want to do in order to add someone to your site, is you're going to go over to invite people, and right here you need to add their Wix account's email. So in order to add someone to your Wix website, they already need to have a Wix account. And once you've found their email, or once they've given you their email, simply add it right here. For me, I'll add lucasintutorials at gmail.com. By the way, I don't actually have this email account, it's just for the example. And once you scroll down, you'll see that there is already a few pre-made roles. The admin, website manager, website designer, and back office manager. As you can see, there's a lot of roles right here, which is great. And once you've found the role you want to add, simply click on it. So for the example, let's say I would want to add a blog editor. You can simply select the role and click on send invite. You'll then get this pop-up. Your invite email was sent. And you'll now see that I have added Lucasin Tutorials, Lucasin Tutorials at gmail.com to my Wix website. The invite is there for 30 days and the role is displayed right here. Now, just one quick notice. If you want to create a custom role, you can do that by manage roles, and then you can click on create a new role. Here you can add a role title, you can add a description, and you can also set all the permissions you would want that role to have. And if you've got any questions at all, feel free to ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out. 